Hey, fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. Uh, big celebration today. We are celebrating 60 days of NoFap and semen retention today. So, woo! Yeah. Um, some of you have been sharing your comments and, uh, you know, sharing your journey. So continue to bring that in. I love what I'm seeing down there, and I appreciate you guys sharing your journey with us. But uh, today's episode is going to be an update from one of the very first episodes that we covered here, which was the celebration of my 40 days um, of NoFap and semen retention. And I wanted to cover today a little bit what I've learned, and of course the 60 days, but uh, you know more what I've learned even since posting that first video uh, 20 days ago. So. Uh, 10 things that, that I've learned and, and hopefully will help you stay motivated and uh, will help you guys out and on, um, on your own journeys. So um, starting off, you know, my level of uh, motivation, I think I already, you know, I reiterated that on, on the first, on the first episode, but uh, more specifically, my ability to be more creative, like my creative sense, uh, really thinking with more complexity, thinking, I guess, outside of the box, uh, has, has really improved. That's something over the last 20 days that, that I didn't anticipate coming. I didn't read much about. So, uh, it's been cool to, to really channel that into other areas of, you know, what we're doing here, uh, at work, uh, some stuff I'm doing here at my place, but, um, yeah, just an increased level of, uh, creativeness that I've experienced, which has been really cool. A nice surprise. Um, the second thing is uh, that I've, I've noticed that there's been a little bit more of, of a leadership that's kind of just naturally naturally came out of me. And it's been it's been at work uh, or, you know, it's been, you know, one when I'm kind of hanging out with a with a group of other people. It's just you just don't feel as like fearful or as like timid as uh, you do if you're, you know, on PMO or if you are, um, you know, watching porn all the time. So, uh, I, I think it just decreases your defenses and, and, um, you're just not in that shy place. So you do take on a lot more of a leadership role. People I've let some of my friends know, in fact, um, you know, I work with a, a, a awesome group of dudes and I just straight up said like, this is what I've been doing and, you know, appreciate your support. Um, you're going to get updates from me. Cause again, where this is all about just being real honest and transparent. But uh, I let them know, and you know I don't have any shame about it. It's just you know it's just being being open and, and transparent about it. And what I've noticed is that a lot of them have been you know kind of taking on some new uh, I don't know what you want to call it. They've been taking on some new things in their own lives. Whether they're getting the, into the gym, they're coming for advice on what to eat, you know what kind of workouts to do. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of seeking me out and it's not anything that is like, you know, oh, this is all about, you know, me, but it's just cool because, you know, when you take care of yourself and when you're, you know, um, getting really disciplined and you're fighting off urges as a man, I think, you know, people gravitate to that and people, they reach out to you. They want to know what you're doing. They want to figure out how to be more like you. They want to figure out how to get ahead they want to know what you're doing, you know, what advantages you're getting. So it's just really cool. And that's really what this is, you know, like we're all in this together. It's not about anybody being, you know, there's no hierarchy here. It's, it's cool to be able to help people. Like if they're going through challenges, it's, it's nice to be seen as a, as a valuable resource where people want to come and they want to, you know, ask you questions and they want to talk to you about stuff. It's, you know, it, it's cool. Like I, I'm not, I haven't always been used to that. So I'm really enjoying it and I'm grateful for that. So I'm happy to help too. Um, the next one is less anxiety. So I've always kind of, you know, I've struggled with this uh, anxiety. We just kind of come from it naturally in my family, but always very anxious, you know, really, um, you know, hyperactive. And what I've noticed is that as I have moved off of PMO and, you know, gotten clean with my act, uh, my anxiety levels are really down. And that's really rare for me because I've only known uh, what, uh, 
you know, pre NoFap was, which was pretty anxious and pretty um, internally combustible felt like. So I felt like my, my anxiety levels have really come down. And, you know, when you think about what that does for your creative levels and what that does for how efficient you are, you know, these things do work in conjunction with each other. So, um, it's cool to kind of see them pair off of each other. And when you're less, less anxious, you know, that, that really translates into other areas too. So conversations, uh, deadlines, um, you know, social interactions, uh, if you're approaching women, um, you're talking to your boss, if you are, you know, you, you don't really have any weird reactions to like awkward situations. You just, you know, I think you're just a lot more present. So, uh, and you're not all up in your head, which you would be if you had all that content that you're watching on a regular basis floating around up there. So um, I've really noticed that there's been a lot less anxiety in my life and, and it's really caused me to be a lot more efficient and creative and um, get a lot more done. So the uh, the next one is going to be balanced emotions. So <clears throat> although, you know, the last video I posted kind of went into detail about, you know, two days of kind of an emotional roller coaster. And I think that's that that is tied in here. So when I say better emotions, I think it's because not only are you aware of the little things and, you know, the, you know, the subtleties of things, you know, the sound, the, the smell, the taste, you know, your your senses are just really elevated. And you're in tune with nature, you're in tune with those around you, you're just in tune with the world uh, in, in, in which you're surrounded by when you are, um, when you're on NoFap. So when I say better emotions, I think it's because when you, when you actually go through them, which is what I just experienced over this past week. I think there was, you know, a lot of stuff that I wasn't dealing with. And because I was because I've been on NoFap, you know, I had some pretty traumatic or painful shit come come out. Um, I don't still I still don't know where it really came from, but it, it did happen. And I think it's I really do think that it's because of the fact that I'm, you know, I'm actually experiencing that. I'm actually working through it now. Um, it, you know, when they talk about like if a drug addict goes to rehab or, you know, an alcoholic goes, like a lot of that stuff is numbing pain. And I think when you go fap and I think when you go to those times in your life when you're, you know, lonely or you're bored or whatever and you go do it, I think it's a distraction that that takes you away from experiencing those subtleties, experiencing those emotions, experiencing those senses uh, so when you've gotten away from it, you, you really more, you know, you're experiencing like the vitalness of life, which is, which is really cool. So, uh, that, that's been good. And we're all about balancing emotions here, right? You know, exercising emotional intelligence. That's, that's, uh, you know, that's a key theme here. Uh, the next one, number five is less sleep. So it's not that you, it's not that you get less sleep. It's that you you require less sleep because of the retained energy that you're that you're hanging on to and that you're circulating. And even the sleep that you do get, so let's say, for example, that you got four or five hours on a normal night. Well, if you like pre no fap, you'd be groggy, you'd be tired, be kind of like sluggish, brain fog, like all that shit that we all hate. And you got a full day of work ahead of you. Um, this is, you know. I've gotten, you know, four or five, sometimes, you know, three and a half hours, but you know, I got a full day and you know, I didn't feel like I was sluggish. I didn't feel like I was tired. I felt like I had a full gas tank and a really quality sleep. So even if it's less, it's, you require less, but the quality of, of what's less is actually enough. So, uh, that's been really good. Cause I've always kind of had some issues sleeping to be totally honest. And, uh, I think that's a lot has to do with my, uh, anxiety, but it's, it's nice. Cause you know, I'm burning the candle at both ends, uh, and you know, I need that energy. So it's been, it's been really good, uh, less sleep, but uh, better quality. Uh, number six is impulse control. So, you know, you're, you're talking about controlling impulses that are like the most 
tempting and the most, um, they're, they're the ones that are the easiest to cave into, right? And when you are in control of that, that, that permeates to other areas of your life. So take, for example, that uh, maybe at the new year, you started no fat, but you also started, you know, uh, a new diet or a new workout regimen, or you want to be a better communicator, whatever it is. Um, those, your impulse control really has, really translates it into other areas of your life. So um, it makes it much easier for you to uh, restrict yourself from, you know, extra sweets or from cutting your workout short or from not getting out of bed to go to the gym or just it makes those things a lot easier because you're not um, you're not caving into the temptations. So your impulse control and I would say probably your discipline is one and the same uh, is uh, is nice because it, it gives you more than just what you're doing with NoFap. You're going to get it in other areas of your life. So you know we're more creative. We got more time in the day. We got more energy. Um, we are we're balanced emotionally. Um, better quality sleep. I think I already said that one and, and we're more creative. I may have already said that too, but anyway, you can see how all this stuff is really stacking together. And, um, most notably for me in the last 20 days. So next one is going to be better skin. And, um, you know, I've, I've really noticed it. Like, you know, I, I can't believe just how like shiny and vibrant and, um, and how good my skin not only looks, but it does feel good. So I think that there's uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of research on there about um, zinc being a, a prime ingredient in um, in semen, and when you when you let go of all that, that is a vital nutrient that that you're letting go of. I didn't know that, but um, that has a lot to do with you know the the health of your skin and also the brightness of your eyes. So because again we're we're back to energy here because you're retaining a lot of that stuff the the vital life force i think that because it's not leaving your body it it amplifies your radiance and that may sound kind of like you know fucking foo foo but um it's it's the truth it's really how you're coming across as more confident how you're more full of life how you feel about yourself um you know you're just more vibrant and your eyes show it your skin shows it you're just you're just um you have a brightness about the world and that is something that people really pick up on. That's why they come to you. That's why they want to know what you're doing. That's what, what are you eating? You know, what, what kinds of tips do you recommend? So again, this is all, um, this is all ties in together, but, um, brighter skin and brighter eyes. I didn't know that was going to happen, but you know, happy to, happy to share that one. The next one is uh, number eight is better articulation and vocabulary. So when I had heavy brain fog, I was actually taking nootropic supplements because I was so foggy throughout the day that I couldn't even fucking think. And I've mentioned it before in, in previous videos that it would, it, it's not like, you know, the afternoon or late at night. I, I had it at like in the morning and I was terrified. I'm only like 34, 35 and I had brain fog this early in the day. Well, I now know it to be because of, um, you know, all the, all the shit that I was watching and, and getting away with. So, uh, where I'm going with this is, you know, your better articulation and, and the way that you, you know, the way that you can communicate and talk about, uh, talk through your vocabulary actually becomes quite deeper. Like all of a sudden I'll just be sitting there and I'll use a word that like, I don't even know where it came from. And he used to have to heavily rely on nootropics to just stay focused, to just stay clear, to fight off that brain fog. Now it's just natural. Um, but you are much, uh, you have much better improved sense of how to use words, um, how to plug in terminology that, uh, that is a lot more descriptive. You know, if you're, if you're more creative, uh, you know, that does translate into how you're able to be more descriptive about things. So no matter what kind of job you're in, if you're, you know, in business or, you know, if you're in the arts or whatever, um, you know, you're able to really be more descriptive and detailed. And you're also, again, more in tune with like your senses. So smell, um, sound, touch, feel like all that stuff. 
um, there's a there's a connection going on with all of them, and you know you're uh, you're a lot more. It's probably not showing it now, but uh, you know you're just able to articulate things, articulate points, get right to the point, and um, kind of not uh, do this bullshit that I'm doing now, but. Anyway, um, number nine, so is, is a deeper voice. So what, what I've noticed is that, uh, after about two weeks, I noticed I was like, damn, I, f I felt like I was almost getting sick, but like, I've just noticed that my voice has gotten quite a bit deeper and it definitely has, uh, in, in the last 20 days for sure. I have to make calls all day at work. And if you're, if you're able to articulate and, and if you have a deeper voice, you, you come off as being more in command. You know, you are in control of your emotions. You are, um, you're, you're taking that leadership role and you have a, a calm, but a deep voice, sort of like a late night radio DJ voice almost, uh, you know, that sets the tone and, and people follow that. So, you know, it's been interesting to kind of have all of those things working together uh, with a deep voice because when I talk to clients now, I don't, I don't get the, you know, the, the fluffy dance around the truth. I kind of get right to the point. And I think that's because of, of how I'm coming across over the phone or how I'm coming across in my uh, interactions with people. So again, it all works together. But yeah, I've definitely noticed uh, a, a deeper voice, and that 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 just correlates with being more masculine. So you know, there's there's a lot more looks that you get from girls because not only can they sense that, but they can then hear it. So uh, you know, if you're if you're noticing that you're having a a much deeper voice, that would be uh, that would be why. Number ten and the very last one, uh, the one that I you know kind of see as uh, as the biggest one, especially for for men here is self-reliance. So we are always trying to improve and figure out ways to optimize, be our best version of ourselves and uh, not have to rely on other people uh, to, you know, get us, what, get us the things that we want or want to strive to, you know, guys tend to, to, we want to figure out how to do things and achieve things and get things, get to where we want to go on our own. And, uh, the nice thing is, is because I think you're controlling all those urges and that energy, um, you know, you, you, you don't have to like, you know, reach out or you don't need outlets for help on things. Cause you're kind of self-contained, you're taking care of your shit and, um, you know, you're getting a lot done and you don't need to rely on other people, um, for, you know, getting you anything or getting you anywhere. You just, you're kind of in control. You're staying in your own lane. And it, it's really cool to, to be able to kind of take control or take the reins on your life. So that is the top 10 things that I've learned in 60 days. And I uh, wanted to, you know, share that with you guys. And I, I really hope that this stuff is helping. Please share your comments and um, your feedback below. Again, I am reading that stuff and, and, and getting back to all you guys. So I really appreciate it. Please like the video and share the channel with anybody uh, in your friends and family who you think would, uh, would also benefit from the channel. We're building community here. So um, if you have a problem or a challenge that you could use some advice on or a topic that you want to cover in a future video here at The Man Core, please send me an email at themancoreproject at gmail.com. And I will see you fellas on the next episode. Take care.